Hey, hey, what's going on, 8th graders? Uh, you should at this point have your maze backdrop, and you should have your little sprite that moves around when you click on the green flag. So my little guy's moving around. However, this is currently the world's worst maze, because when I click on the green flag, he goes where he needs to be, but I can just go right through the blue, right to the finish, and it's terrible. So I need to program it that when he touches blue, he can't go through. So to do that, I'm going to go to Event, I'm going to go when flag is clicked. So as soon as I click on this flag, it's going to start running this set of code. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to control. And I'm going to go if, notice, like as I get close, it highlights that with white. If, hexagon, then. So I need to find if touching blue. And so under sensing, think about like what is it touching? So what is it sensing? If it's touching, so if the beetle is touching color green in this case, then I want it to move, not 10 steps forward though, I want it to move 10 steps backwards, so it's just highlight negative 10. Now there's two mistakes I have, so even if I click go, it's still not going to work, so it goes right through it. I have to fix two things. One, I have to fix the color, so he's not touching green if he touches blue. And so to pick up the color, all you need to do is click on the square. So I just click as I move my mouse around. Anything that my mouse is on, it will pick up that color. So I'm going to come all the way over here to my maze, find the blue, click, and it matches this. So even now, though, it still won't work. And that's because there's one more thing I have to do. Right here, if touching this, I want it to do that forever. So I'm going to go back to control. Find forever, so I clicked on control, down to forever, drag this alligator mouth over, and as soon as it clicks in underneath win, see that's all in there, I can click on my flag at this point. Forever, if it touches that blue, it'll get stuck and I can't go through. So, these are the uh, six sets of codes you need for your maze, and uh, hopefully that uh, you have this set up. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will move around to help you out. Thanks.